What is up guys, Alex here back in the video. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the VSET 9 Plus dual motor electric scooter. We're gonna be reviewing everything you need to know about it, all the specs, all the mods, everything, everything that comes in and everything you should know about the scooter. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe, comment down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see, and we'll get started with the video right now. Well, the base model VSET 9 Plus starts at $1,300, all the way going up to $1,800. The main difference is the battery size you get with each price mark. There's a 16 amp hour battery, a 19 amp hour battery, and a 21 amp hour battery. This specific model is a 19.2 amp hour battery with a 48 volt system. Front and rear are 650 watt motors powered with a dual motor system and a single motor system. Unlike most scooters, this scooter offers dual charging if you ever want a quick charge or if you just want a slow charge from two ports or any other customization you would like. Scooter's brake cables, electronic cables, and other cables are all nice and neat, all organized and cable managed within the stem and all zip ties. So you don't really have to worry about anything all the way from the deck, all the way from the stem, and all the way up here. This scooter does come with three front white lights with one being on the fender and then two red lights in the back. To turn on every single light on the scooter, all you're gonna have to do is press this plus button. And once you see that nice light sign come on on your dashboard, you're gonna know all the lights on the bottom of your scooter are on. The scooter offers a dual spring arm suspension with a nice folding mechanism that any other scooter has. For this specific scooter, all you're gonna have to do is turn this left until the nut is no longer inside the stem. And then all you're gonna have to do is push this up, release this back, and it's gonna fold nicely and clip up to there. For more convenience, both of these arms unscrew like this, each side with their own, and they all fold down to a nice compact design. And once you fold it, it's all gonna be able to be carried by the one stem. I can not currently show the scooter being folded because of the accessories that are currently mounted at each side, but you guys get the main idea and I'll pull up a picture right here of how it looks like. Moving on to the deck, this scooter offers a six inch and seven inch nice rubber deck with the nice VSET 9 Plus logo. This scooter does come with two stickers just showing what kind of battery sizes you got just to confirm you guys got the right order, but all this could be easily removed. You could, I heard you could change this a lot of times and it's all sold on the VSET website. So if you want a new mat, if it's ever dirty, you could just buy one, contact them and they'll just send you a new one. Both front and rear of the scooter have both dual disc brakes. So if you ever wanna adjust them, all you take is a five millimeter or four millimeter Allen key take this uh, string and you just pull it up and then your brakes are readjusted. Every 500 to 400 miles, you are gonna wanna change your uh, brake pads. So just keep that in mind. Always order them before because shipping may take a while. Moving on to the dashboard, I'm gonna go from left to right, explaining everything and every setting. So on the left, we come with these nice rubber grips. Something many people don't know the scooter comes with is turn signals. So if you guys see there's two uh, LED displays on the side that you can't really see but once you turn on the lights it's currently where the red lights used to sit so here are the two displays and with the nice buttons conveniently located on each side of the handlebar you could press it once and it's gonna illuminate a turn in signal on the front and the rear of the scooter showing which direction so right now it has a blinker showing it's going to turn left so if you have this on you're going to want to turn left and it's automatically going to turn off after 10 to 15 seconds or after you make the turn sometimes so yeah that's one a, a really hidden feature most people don't realize once they buy the scooter you could also do the same thing on the right side the VSET 9 Plus offers you two customizationable buttons. This is for dual motor, so once this button is pushed in, you're gonna be having both dual motors running on the scooter. If you're gonna push this out, it's gonna pop out, and then you're gonna be running one single motor with this one running freely just as it's spinning. For this white button, is just a horn, as you could hear right now. It's like a dog whistle, which is not really loud. This is why I do recommend getting a third-party accessory horn, which could be easily mounted onto here, so if you wanna ever try it, it's way louder, you could also change it and everything. So yeah, I do uh, recommend getting an extra light too. Since these lights are not really strong, this is all that illuminates. I would recommend getting the super strong light. Of course it's not night yet, so you can't really see it, but this is 2000 lumens with those being like around 100 or 200. So I really recommend getting a third party uh, light and a third party alarm or bell or anything you would like to call it. Moving on to the right side of the scooter, we have this phone mount. This phone mount did not come in, I repeat, did not come in with the nine, uh, with the VSET 9 Plus. Moving on to the control panel, this is a very unique design no other scooter has besides VSETs. So what you basically do to turn it on is you press this red button. Then instead of a key or instead of anything else, you need a card. So every single VSET scooter comes in with this nice digital key. It's like a hotel key. What you basically do is bring it up here where it says card. 
you put it near and it automatically turns on. It's one of the coolest uh, locking mechanisms I've ever seen. The, most scooters come with two or three of these locks and you just wanna put it up here. Once you unlock your control panel, you're gonna see the number of volts you have. 54 or 55 means your scooter is 100%. 39 or 40 means your scooter is zero. So in between, that's the system you guys wanna measure with the battery. Over here, this is the plus or minus if you ever wanna change the gears. This scooter has three gears. I know there's some V-sets that have a couple more gears and modifications, but this specific scooter has only three gears. So if you wanna press plus, you're gonna to go to gear two and gear three, which each gear being a more faster. So gear one goes up to 15, gear two goes up to 25, and then gear three just maxes out up to 33, 34 miles per hour. It comes in with a nice battery bar over here. You have an odometer to see how many miles the scooter has. This scooter has 237 miles and I only owned it for one month. If you wanna change between the things, all you do is press a circle right here. It shows the trip, then you press it again. It shows the voltage, you press it again, and then it's back to the odometer. Once you speed up, it shows the little odometer or the speedometer, if you guys would call it, and it shows the speed. And then there's just the gear button. If you wanna turn off the scooter, all you do is press the same process again. You hold this and it's off. And if you ever wanna turn it on, you just bring your key card nearby and it turns on. And then over here, we have our right brake, left brake. They're both discs. And as you guys know, you're gonna to have to adjust them in the future. The VSET 9 Plus comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery charger, which is extremely, extremely slow if you guys want to charge your scooter and ride it really often. That's why I decided to go with an ultra fast charger. This is an extreme fast charger, which can charge up to five times faster than that charger. What you basically do is go on the side and there's five different charging options. A slow one, medium slow, medium, medium fast, and then there's a the fast one. And then there's limiters, which could charge up to 90% and stop and charge up to 80% and stop. All customizable. I usually keep it to number one when I'm sitting, but number five when I really want to get in a rush. So this is a 48 volt battery charger and this is a 52. This one's for my Apollo Ghost and Vidium. This one's for the VSET 9 or a 09's Apollo Cities. You guys get the thing. But these are extremely expensive though. So if you do really ride your scooter a lot, you might want to buy one of these. It costs $140. This one's $150 since it's one of the bigger models, uh, bigger like performance models. This is the specs if you guys do want to search it up. This is the model one for the 52 volt. But if you want it for the VSET 9, this is the model, the JRT360. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and like the video if this was a nice review, very explanatory. And we'll see you all in another video.